think on the record for that? Yes. Yes. Jordan Whitmer. Thank you, Jordan. This is set for preliminary hearing, but we have a resolution uh, basically on count one, leaving the scene of the accident. It's going to be a $100 fine. Count two of the DUI charge, uh, I'm going to move to amend that to reckless driving for another $100 fine. Uh, and the basis for that, basically, Your Honor, is that uh, uh, the officer, uh, this was an accident, and uh, Mr. Whitner was apprehended uh, outside of the vehicle sometime later uh, with some. Uh, injuries that uh, uh, may have affected his uh, ability to perform the field sobriety test and other issues of fact that uh, justify the amendment in this case. And then also on count three, we're going to amend one amendment in the first degree, then we want one amendment in the second degree for a hundred dollar fine. And then the 12 months will be probated on condition that he's going to complete a substance abuse uh, program through my office and he does have that information. Now how did you break that down for the two? Seconds for the total of merge three. those, merge those into one count if you can. All, all of them, yes, like the uh, what? merge counts three and four. I've got those two counts of one endangerment, okay. And 12 months underlying, yes. And that was a condition of what was that condition on? Complete the uh, complete the county attorney's uh, online substance abuse, okay. Mr. Whitmer, did you understand that? That's the most important thing. Yes, Your Honor. And is that something that you would like to accept? Yes, Your Honor. Let me put you under oath here. You swear or affirm to tell the truth? I do. And, sir, have you had all the time you need to speak with your attorney? Yes. And you understand that if you go forward with this, that uh, you're going to waive those rights I explained to you way back at your arraignment? Yes, Your Honor. And are you under the influence of any alcohol or drugs today? No. Do you feel threatened or coerced into doing this? No. And, sir, to these charges, how do you, as amended, how do you plead? Guilty. Okay. So I have one, two, three, five, eighteen. How much time would he need to take care of that? Your Honor, he has a bond posted that I think is usable in his name. He would ask that it be um, taken from out. his bond. What I would do if it's not, release it, but just give him a payday. Is it in his name? So we'll release that. If I gave you, uh, let me find my calendar here. By March the 19th. March the 19th. Yes, Your Honor. Can I verify the address that is supposed to go back to? He uh, is he discharged from the military, so it's probably his command. <laughs> Well, who posted the bond for you? I believe it was my own uh, PO, Your Honor, Lieutenant Marsamian. Is that the setter's name is on it? Is it Sergeant? Okay, yeah. What do you think that person could be present and get? I would have to check, Your Honor. I think he may have been PCSing. Oh my gosh. Like, so he may or may not still be in the state. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I'll have, to, I'll have to look into that. Maybe uh, if you could give us 30 days, we'll know for sure what's going on. We well, that? he's got until March the 19th. Anyway. Oh, okay. I didn't hear you give that. Day. All right. All right, Sergeant, if you would, just sign right over there, and good luck to you. Thank you, Your Honor. Ms. Callaway? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, I'm representing Mr. Matthew Clark and Los Angeles Sebastian Waters. They're companion cases, Your Honor. Okay, Mr. Clark, and who are the other two? Uh, Sebastian Waters.